Happy Saturday, Prim Fam. Back at it. Trying to get those jobs done before people cancel. So, really, today we got to weed the vinyl that we cut last night, do some heat transfers, and maybe print some business cards. Haven't decided on the business cards yet. So, not a huge day, but I do also want to go through monday.com, make sure there's nothing else. I might actually print a banner um, on the HP Latex because I can. Um, got the media right there. So just trying to get jobs done, get them out the door, get them finished. So I don't have to worry about cancellations or changes or anything like that. This is probably, this is how I should probably always function, but usually I just hit things within the timeline that they're due. But now it's, I don't care if it's due a week, two weeks, three weeks from now, I want to get it done as fast as possible. So on with the work. All right, I was working on a shirt order through Samwar, and I've got this, let's see if we can, there we go. I've got this Excel sheet that I've put together that helps me calculate costs and all that fun stuff. But I opened up a separate sheet because he's like, oh, I want this shirt and this shirt and that shirt. And I forgot to include the screens. Luckily, I charged him retail rate of the shirts, so, um, for example, they're doing 10 Carhartt um, and 10 or 5 Sport Tech, and those give me a suggested retail rate, which I followed. Because I followed that, it gave me enough margin that even with quoting them wrong and not charging basically the way that the math works out is. I didn't charge them $120 for screens. Um, and I'm also eating the cost basically of doing the left chest, or not the left chest, the right sleeve, um, which he's only doing on 10 of them, then I'd be screwed. But luckily I used those retail prices and uh, um, it's still, even if I then repay myself for the sleeve, it still leaves a profit of $300. So for the amount of work that I have to do in total, uh, between the logistics of getting the order, doing the order, running the order, um, it's gonna take maybe an hour, maybe two at the most. So still good profit. I'm glad I used those suggested retail things because usually I don't. And because I did this time, then it saved me. Because if I would not have, then I would have been down into the like $100 profit margin. And usually that's not bad if I don't have to do any work. I literally just send it to Sanmar, they drop ship it to my screen printer, I pick it up from the screen printer, and they pick it up from me. Um, but in this case, I am having to apply those right sleeves because we're going to use the white toner to do that. And so it all worked out. But remember, don't use secondary spreadsheets if you're doing pricing based off spreadsheets. Use the one you made to do it in the first place. Okay, on with the stuff. All right, banner media loaded. We've got to print, it's roughly six by three. Um, so gonna print that. Um, got Bob's job ready for Monday. Uh, I think we're pretty much caught up other than Bob's got some adhesive stuff he needs printed Monday as well but he hasn't worked on the artwork for that yet there's some weird noise um, one thing to note I did have an error on the printer when I I usually just let it fall asleep I don't turn it off all the way um, so it made me fully restart it which takes about five ten minutes to boot back up versus like the 30 seconds to wake up from sleep so Definitely sounds like it's doing some weird cleaning something or others. So I'm gonna let that turn on. We'll print the banner, get a nice time lapse of that, and then we'll see what else we're doing. Can't even remember. The banner's done, just need to clean off my table so I can get it cut. I probably won't do that till next week. I've got the sample business card printed and cut. Now we're gonna print 
the rest of the 23 pages so we can get a 500 count business card order. Printed money. I would like to once again be very clear <clears throat> to any government officials or anyone else in that nature watching. Darren is not literally printing money. He is printing things that people purchase with money. Um, he is not committing a crime. Alright, print fam. I'm working on the heat transfers. These are the heat transfers for the backpacks that I cut forever ago. Like, December forever ago. So I'm working on getting them cut. I, I've got them all weeded, so I'm separating them. Then we're getting them... Whoa! Then we're going to get them applied to the backpacks. Um, been trying to just get jobs done. I did get approval on the shirts that I talked to you about earlier today. Um, so I got those ordered from Sanmar. Um, they're doing some Gildan shirts. So we did the Gildan 5000. They're doing 45 of those. And then they're doing some Lady Sport Techs, five of those, and then 10 Carhartt. We're going to put their logo on the left chest and then on the back. So they're going to be screen printed since there's 60 of them. Um, after those 60 have been screen printed, I'll bring them back to the shop and do on the right sleeve a flag on just the Carhartt jackets using the white toner printer. In case you don't know, the white toner printer that I have is the Uninet iColor 600. I bought that one because it was less expensive. It had more capability and it came with a rip. So it was a single solution. Um, consumables are all really about the same as far as price and um, just with the added features and the fact that I didn't have to buy a secondary rip, made it worth it. So. I am almost done getting these cut, and then I probably should have turned the heat press on, but we'll get the heat press turned on, and we'll get them applied, and while that's warming up, I'll go over the rest of Monday.com so I can see if there's more stuff I can do. So, like I said, just trying to get as many jobs done and out the door as possible so that they don't get canceled or postponed or anything like that. All right, backpacks are done. It was pain because I have a baby with me and she cried and I had to hold her and balance and do all that fun stuff. But the other kids are out with mom flying kites. So I had to figure it out because working on a Saturday. Customer's actually gonna come pick them up here shortly. Hey, can you hold still for just a minute? Just a minute, thank you. <laughs> Customer's gonna come pick them up. I gave him one of them for free. I gave him, I said, hey, I'd just give these to you because I feel bad, it's been so long. He's a buddy. I said, we could do 50% off, you decide. He said, why don't we do just 50 and we'll call it even. So gave him one of them for free of the backpack. So that's good. So most everything's taken care of that I can. I do have a couple more white toner shirts that I could do, a couple for Bob, one for my wife. Um, but things are looking really good, so I'm not sure how much longer we'll be working today. She's going for scissors. I gotta go. All right, Prim Fam, I'm calling it a day. I got half of this vinyl job, heat transfer vinyl that is weeded. The other job, or the other half, just completed. So I'll finish weeding that, and I'm gonna layer them so that they can apply them just as a single application. I'll do that Monday because I'm pretty much caught up. My email's looking really good. Um, I've got, well, I'm not paying attention to you guys. Got 15 emails. Um, some of them are some things to do, some of them are just like 
there to remind me of something I want to do in the future. Um, Monday.com's looking really good. Like I said, we gotta do some adhesive vinyl for Bob on Monday when he fixes the artwork. And yeah, I'm feeling really good. I did meet my $1,000 invoice goal today, but it's Saturday, so that's not part of my overall goal. And so good times had here. So thanks for following along today. Lots of fun and good production. And I look forward to seeing you in the next vlog, which will be Monday. So if you have any questions about what to do, why I do it, how I do it, etc., leave those questions down in the comments. Thank you, Cameron, for editing the video. Appreciate you. Hope it doesn't get old me saying that every time because I really do appreciate you. You know what? You can go back to saying thanks, Cam, instead of Cameron. Um, all I'm saying is back when you said thanks, Cam, we didn't have the coronavirus. Um, we didn't get hit by an earthquake. There was an earthquake here a couple days ago. You'll find out in a vlog in a couple days about it. Um, but yeah, you can go back to saying thanks, Cam, instead of Cameron, because apparently my full name is just cursed. Um, it, we could have gotten rid of the coronavirus and not had the earthquake. So you can go back to that. Thank you. If you guys want to support the channel, you can do so with the links in the description or just like the video, subscribe, share it with friends, all that fun stuff. So thanks as always for watching. Thanks as always for watching. And we'll see you in the next one, Prickland.